labor, I think. And I, mm -hmm. uh, I don't, it, this should not, in fact, be uh, back behind bathroom is for us. No, uh, I, no, it's not. Uh, this is just this money that, in my way of thinking, we're going to. The golf course is a, is a jewel as far as the city is concerned. It's, it's, a, it's an attraction and it's a, it's a pretty place. It's, it's, it's somewhat run down. And the reason it's somewhat run down is, is it, it hadn't I mean, spent any money out there as far as uh, upgrading or keeping the equipment running and, and the, well, we maintain it. We, haven't, we, have, we have not spent a whole lot of money to improve it. And this pressure system has been out for what, uh, six, five, six years, something like that? Yeah. Yeah. I'm not sure how long. It's I know been out a long, long time. time. <coughs> and, uh, and it's, uh, it's labor intensive to water it manually, and uh, besides not doing it with a job. And it's well, not we're not actually water. watering the fairways, we're only watering the green. No, we're watering the fairways. They are watering the fairways? Mm -hmm. I so. feel like we need to workshop it with this. Yeah, yeah. I think it's yeah. a lot. Because we're going to figure out where the budget is going to be coming from. Okay, second thing, we talked about the, uh, you want to talk about that now? Uh, well, if you're going to talk about it again in the, the big meeting, our regular meeting, then why don't you just wait on it? Well, we're not going to talk about this in the regular meeting. You said you want to have a workshop on this one. Or two more right. items. Okay. Right. We'll have a workshop on that one. Then the other two items, can you wait in here? Sure. Because they might be a little lengthy and we don't sure. have about three minutes. So, Jeff, you got anything? No, I have no. Jeremy? Yes, ma'am. I told Ralph Snow about the entrance on Russell Road from Highway 45. I couldn't give him a date. I know it just seems like this county project is. is well, we're working on it. Did okay. you know it? Yeah, I knew we I knew we were, but I didn't okay. know what the county was doing as of late. I know it's, uh, it's well rare. we've got eight signatures. See what happened was we had all the signatures except I think one uh, you know you know, since this administration. And the land, two of the landowners sold their property to someone else. So instead of us going back and getting those two signatures, we've got to go back and get all the signatures again just to make sure or at least most of them, you know, probably nine percent of them. So we're we're ready. All I got to do is, you know. Uh, In the meantime, uh, can we go down there ourselves and, and, and it's from the highway to where it opens back up, fix those potholes? Oh and, yeah. Uh, what happens if the vehicles meet on that road? They have to stop, oh. and one has to pull over and let the other back up. Yeah, and they they want to rut. It just yeah. needs some attention. Okay. Some hot, uh, some coal pack. Uh, on Second Street, in front of Jill Brown's house, turn it to Catholic Church, go down to Prospect, Cross Prospect, right yeah. before you get to Puppy Creek, mm -hmm. where Jill Brown lives on the left, this cover stopped up. It's about okay. a 60 foot cover plug, and it's running, the ditches are running over dry. Okay. So we just need to get that unplugged. That's all the uh, district items that I have. And March the 20th, don't forget about opening day for CYBSA. And uh, I believe Monday, uh, I got a late email from Willie. We had the CBA meeting today. We weren't able to discuss it. Uh, Miss Ashley Rich uh, come spoke to us today about her uh, candidacy for uh, district attorney, Mobile. And, but we failed to mention or discuss about Mark K. E. Monday, Willie. Right. Monday at 6.30. Monday at really? 6.30 here. Uh, so, so bring your, you know, pen and pad, put some thought to, you know, what we want him to be looking at or doing uh, for us. Um, and I would encourage you, I had that on my list to mm -hmm. mention, but uh, encourage anyone that's in your district, especially your district, Jim, you need to get everyone that lives on Prime Road that you can to come to that meeting about drainage on you, you know, on your, on Prime Road. And I encourage Lori and her, I'm, I'm going to get out and try to do some footwork from house to house if I have to get these people in and let them maybe say a word or two, uh, you know, of how bad the drainage situation is here. Maybe we could emphasize, you know, if we had a crowd here for that same reason, that that is one of our biggest issues in the city now is drainage. That's all I can so don't get the dance Saturday night. So we like the life of the city. Uh, Such so girls are putting on that. Uh, I don't, what time is that, Lori? Six, seven, seven, seven to ten. And uh, thank y'all, girls, ladies, for the walking trail ribbons. That was that was beautiful. And we'll adjourn. Citizens, dear Lord, as we try to move forward, dear Lord, in a progressive manner, dear Lord, continue to forecast our ways as leaders that we make the right decisions that will be made positive and effective in the influence of our city. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.
Mayor, I move that we table uh, that annexation ordinance until the next council meeting. Any discussion? Motion carries. Item number two is the USDA application for you to center financing. Mayor, I make the motion we allow our city clerk to make an application to USDA on community center financing. Second. Uh, roll call. Any discussion? Yes, how long how long do you expect to take the application to get uh, either up or down ID on it? Um less than less than two months. Less I'm hoping I'm hoping less than thirty days, but maximum two months. You you talking about to complete and everything, right? Yes, so you, have you, you get it up or down on Yes sir. I guess I'd have one more comment to make. Is, is there any interest in, uh, in pursuing a bond issue that might save us some money? Because I understand the bond we're talking about, uh, which would save the city a certain amount of money versus 4%. How much money do you want us to save? I mean, we're saving a considerable amount of money, but we're getting a 4% bond issue. I mean, that's the USDA is. General obligation of bond, getting bond to the USDA. So, I mean, I don't understand what your question is. What, what other kind of money am I going to say? I would, I'm just asking the question. Okay. Let me see where Sarah Land got a 2.7%. Right. Of course, some other fees, and I'm sure we got other fees that are going to be attached to whatever one we get. But uh, I guess the difference between 2.7, the potential is 2.7 to 4%. Bond issue. And I spoke with my, with my auditor yesterday, 